Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Doing something a little bit different today. Uh, as you can see, I'm on my own because it's a first on this channel. We are going to do an unboxing. And as you can probably guess from the title, it is a camera unboxing. Now, our main vlogging camera since we started has been the uh, Nikon S9900. Whether I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know. But uh, it's been a good camera. It was great for us to start off with but the the camera that I've always wanted ever since we started vlogging was the Canon G7X but fortunately due to circumstances I couldn't afford one at the time when I got this camera so I decided to do a bit of research and it was the Nikon was one of the top ones available for the price but um, I've wanted a G7X for, for a while now and I never thought I'd get one but like I said, from, from, as you can see from this video, I finally got one. So, without further ado, I shall show you the proof. There it is. The Canon G7X Mark II. Now, obviously, this is the most recent model, model of the G7X. So, I thought, uh, if you don't follow us on social media, I obviously put a picture of this up on both Instagram and Twitter. And... I got a pretty good response from it, but a lot of people were saying, you know, well done, so happy for you, and I, I'm so chuffed to have this camera, it's unreal. So, but a couple of people were asking if I'd do an unboxing, just see, obviously, what was in the box, the, look at the camera itself, so I, I'm obliging. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the camera. Well, guys, what I thought I'd do is do, it from, do the unboxing from this angle so you can see what I see a lot more clearer. So, let's get to it. Obviously, the box, not much to look at, obviously, black, a couple of pictures of the camera on it, what it is, but we're not here for the box, are we? No, we're here for what's inside. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it. I will say that I have already opened it because I wanted to charge the battery for the camera, obviously, to make sure it works. So, I have already opened this, so I already know what's inside. First thing you will see is the documentation, obviously, the instruction manual and other bits and pieces. What you would next see is a plug. But what does the plug go to? It goes to a battery charger. And simple function, you put your battery in there. Orange light tells you it's on charge. Green light will tell you when it's full. Simples. And obviously the battery itself, you only get one, which We'll do if you're obviously taking pictures or anything, but if you're vlogging, I highly recommend that you at least get one spare battery. It doesn't have to be a Canon official one, but I would definitely recommend getting another camera, uh, another battery because the batteries while vlogging can drain extremely quickly and also get yourself a decent sized memory card as well. And the only other thing in the box, accessory wise, is a wrist strap to put on the camera. So, to the main event, as people like to say. Nice protective material. Here is the Canon G7X Mark II. And for a camera, for a camera, it is beautiful. Um, obviously, I haven't owned a G7X before, so I can't do as many comparisons as if I did. But I know, obviously, some of the features on the front have changed. One of the main ones is the logo used to be down here, but now it's up here. I'd say the lens itself looks a bit bigger than the original. You've got a bit of a leather material there for a bit of grip, which looks quite nice, and obviously the Canon logo. If you turn to the side, obviously you've got the little hook to put that wrist strap on, and the Wi-Fi button. Again, that material runs around to the side too. The other side is another hook for the wrist strap, depending on obviously what, which hand you like to hold the camera with and you also get I'm not sure what that button is I presume it's the flash I'm not too sure I haven't really played with this camera yet so and the top obviously what it is there another bit of material that is for the flash You've got your mechanisms all your little settings of on the camera the on and off burn obviously the action burn and also the, the to make obviously the picture wider or back to normal. On the back, 
more functions, menu, media button, record button, function button, and obviously the directional uh, buttons as well. The screen is touch screen, which I'll show in a little bit. And the function of the screen, which is going to be a huge help for me and Emma this year, is the screen obviously flips upwards just like the, uh, the original Canon G7X. Obviously with the Nikon, which I'm recording on now, the screen actually popped out to the side. So when you wanted to look at the screen while filming, it was pretty obvious that you weren't looking at the into the lens. But obviously with the screen being higher, it's going to be a huge help. So, but the only thing that is a bit strange, and I don't know what the function of it is, is it's on a hinge. So it comes out a little bit. I'm not too sure why. I'll probably read up or watch some YouTube videos on it. But yeah, that's the screen basically. So altogether, it looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So happy I've got it. And what I'm going to do now is put the battery in and turn the camera on. Well, guys, so I've put the battery in the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just switch it on and show you how it starts up. And then I'm going to talk a bit more about the camera afterwards. So look, I'm going to turn it over. Press the on button. Now, I haven't put a, uh, a memory card in yet. So there's only so much I could do at the moment. But from what I can see, the quality looks great even if I'm not recording anything. So... Also, like I said, there's functions right at the top. Obviously, if you want to zoom, flash, and that's about it. Really, there's, I can't show you much because obviously there isn't a memory card in here. So I just want to show you what the startup was like. If we turn the camera back round, nice swift as it turns off. So yeah. Looks beautiful, and I'm really, really happy with the way this camera looks. So all in all, guys, I'm so happy that I finally got this camera. Um, it took a while, but I finally got it, and I have no regrets. I cannot wait to start vlogging with this. I can't wait to take it to America, and I can't wait to share memories with Emma using this camera. Um, she's excited to use it. I think I'm a lot more excited because I've wanted this camera for a while, but we both cannot wait for our trip in September and vlog as much as we can and make memories and share it with you guys because obviously without you guys we wouldn't be doing YouTube anyway. So, sorry I couldn't show you more features of the camera because I've only just, I've only just got it so, I need, so I'm very new to it myself. But I hope it's given you a little insight if you're thinking about getting one. Uh, so obviously the looks of it, what's on the camera, and obviously if you've had a G7X before, I'm pretty sure that the functions on this camera are a lot similar to the, to the ones on the original. But thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, again, I cannot wait to start using this camera. Um, if you have any questions about the camera, please don't hesitate to ask ask us on either Twitter, Instagram, or even leave a comment below. Because uh, by the time obviously this video goes up, I would have had a, a more in-depth play with it. So, yeah, that's the unboxing of the Canon G7X Mark II, guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and see you in the next one.